you know what? Let's just check it out. What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Sensham and welcome to the channel. So, I've been asked this so many times, but today we're getting the hood put on. I know it's been a long time. I'll get to that in a little bit. For those of y'all who aren't following me, who are just tuning into this video to see the hood, I'm gonna go ahead and put the time below. Just go ahead and fast forward to that because I'm gonna talk a little bit. We still got a little bit of work to do before we get it on. So just go ahead and fast forward to that time if you're just here to see the car with the hood on it. Gotcha, cool. Now, I know it's been a while for you guys that have been following and have been waiting and asking and hitting me up on Instagram and asking if this Hellcat hood is for sale, which it will be soon. Today's the final day. I'm gonna give you all guys a little background of what's been going on. So we got a full build on this El Camino that we've been working on. We've got some cool stuff going on with this Torino, which we're doing a full floor replacement, four link in the rear, front suspension set up. <sighs> Let's see, I'm gonna show you guys what we got over here. This back Silverado is getting painted. We got a full Fox Body Mustang over here that is getting painted, full cage. We are doing a full new air management system on this Kelderman lifted 2500. And we're doing a full build on this 65 Impala. So needless to say, my hood hasn't been a huge priority because we have clients paying i'm helping at this shop so hood just hasn't been priority but today it's getting done we are just about to do the final cutting and buffing polishing but here it is guys it's cut now at 2000 we're about to do some final touches on 3000 and then start the buffing process and then get it installed on the hood get the hood installed on the car it's been a long day already but yes as you can see the hood is black I will get into why I painted it black later on because the car is white but some know what I'm doing with the car some don't we'll just touch base on that as we go now I'm gonna get back in here we're gonna get this thing final sand it buffed out then installed on the car and you guys will finally get to see it because trust me no one has been more anxious and excited to see it on the car than I have. So today's the day, guys. Whew. See you guys in a minute. All right, guys, it's hot today. It's not even, dude, it's not even summertime. No, and, uh, oh, hold on. He had to put his hat on and make sure. Okay. <laughs> it's funny, I had to put my sunglasses on before I started recording too, so. Yeah, okay. Man, it's hot, we're in here. Not a lot of wind flow, but uh, we went ahead and we finished another, you know, 2000 grit, quick wipe down, and then DA 3000, then a hand wipe 3000, and now we're doing the, well, I say he's doing the first session of compound. And man, for a fiberglass hood, this thing looks slick. And this is just the first session, so uh, to give you guys a sneak peek, so this is just 3,000, wipe down, clean, and then Ooh, I can see you. <laughs> yeah. So that is just the first session of compound. And we still have a polish and then another polish. So this will be a three-stage buff. I think we're only doing two stages today, getting it on the car, getting it out because it's Saturday. And uh, it's supposed to be a three-day weekend, but we're at the shop. So I'm gonna get back to helping out, get the music going again. And then we're gonna get this thing on the car here soon. First stage of buffing is done. So compound session is done. I'd say that's pretty impressive, man. Chendo is a bad dude. But as many times as we sanded this hood, which has been a lot, 
it's been blocked two or three times before primer, then it got primer, then it got blocked two times. Then it's been painted, clear coat, and man, a lot, a lot of sanding with 2,000, 3,000. So you guys saw it before we, like just the 3,000 finish alone was pretty impressive. So now we're hitting it with the polish and then it's ready to go on the car. Whew, it's a lot of work. But, uh. It's gonna look good. Stay tuned because, uh, this shouldn't take very long. Well, it won't take long for y'all at all, so you guys can see it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, I don't think a lot of ladies watch my channel, but the hood's on. And I'm super stoked. Like it was worth the wait. I promise you guys. And you'll see. <laughs> you know what? Let's just check it out. So there's a, there's a couple little swirl marks in it. We have one stage left of polish and it needs a good wax. But Chino had to roll out and we were at a good stopping point to get the hood on. My other hood is in the bed of Craig's truck. So it will be going up for sale here soon. I've got a little bit of alignment to just tweak on the hood. The gap needs to shift over to passenger side a little bit, but it's on, it's bolted down. Um, let me show you guys the underside real quick because I know I showed you guys what I had to do with mine uh, as opposed to what anyone else would have to do. This is hard with one hand. Hey, ah, there it is, okay. So, underside's a little dirty, but we did a, uh, let me get out of the sun. So we did a satin black finish on the underside. You can see this is where I cut out and then we opened this hole up a little bit more than how it came to give a little bit more airflow through there. So I don't know if you can see the hole, but this air is directly above my intake. And then hopefully we get some heat extraction from back there because it's all tied in. Now, videos to come will kind of tell you guys why I went with gloss black, even though my car is white. But we will let that unfold as it progresses. But overall, like, It is a mean looking hood, man. Stupid white hinges and stuff. But. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So that is it for today. The hood is finally on. I still have it for all you guys. I know it took a long time. It took a really long time, but as I showed you guys, man, we are busy here at the shop. I'm working here part time in between my day job. So I stay pretty busy, um, which helps me keep from spending money on my own vehicles, which is a pro and con. It keeps me from doing YouTube and showing you guys my builds because I'm too busy working on other people's builds. Like I didn't even show you guys this over here. These are some original 1929 Ford pickup fenders that painted here. So, I mean, stay busy, guys. Now, 
now that the hood's done, I promise you I can start working on other things. I just really needed the hood done to progress and move forward with other things I have ready for the car. So if you liked this video, man, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications because quarantine is over here in Texas, which means there's car shows and car meets coming up, which means my car is going to be out more, which means I need to build some stuff and get some parts that I have laying around on the car. And <sighs> you know how it goes. And the Silverado's done. So next video should actually be the Silverado getting tuned, which I'm so happy to have it done and ready. Um, I appreciate you guys. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video.